And first of all, I'd like to welcome all of the ambassadors and our diplomatic colleagues from member states, as well as the observers and the representatives of international organizations, the members of civil society. And I'm also pleased to confirm that all credentials are in order and suggest that the Council take note of this. First of all, I would like to speak on behalf of my country our most uh, deep gratitude to all the member states of the organization for having allowed us to be part of the main governing body of the IOM. This four-year cycle, which comes to an end today, is something of which we are very proud because we have taken it on in the belief that migration is an essential factor for sustainable development and Chile is committed to a world of peace which respects the human rights of all. Through our participation on the Board of the Council, we think we have contributed from our region towards the strengthening and growth of this, our organization, at a key point in the history of international migration. For me personally, it has been a major honor to have been able to carry out the mandate of chair of this council with the period that started in November 2017 by my predecessor, Ambassador Marta Mauras, who I'm sure many of you recall with great appreciation. Our mandate took place uh, in a year with important events in the area of migration and we should highlight there the process which is still to be concluded of the adoption of the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration. In particular, the meeting in Puerto Vallarta and the negotiating rounds in New York and the arrival at the final draft, which we look, hope will be adopted by the huge majority of countries in, the United, in Morocco in the coming weeks. Both the Council of the IOM and the administration did not spare efforts in maintaining the link between the Global Compact and Geneva, aware of the importance that this multilateral capital has for the subject. There were many occasions where we were able to exchange opinions with the co-facilitators of the process, as well as with the special representative of the Secretary General, Ms. Luis Alba, and their collaborators. And we were able to look at this from the point of view of those for whom we work for every day covering the subject from its many perspectives and complexities. I have no doubt that these interchanges constructively contributed to the process and are in part responsible for the central role that the pact has been has for the IOM. Knowing that 2018 would be a year marked by the compact, we ensured that our work ensured there was a good communication between capitals, New York and Geneva, and uh, along with the exchanges which were organized and which led the process, the Bureau of the Council set up working group to be spaces for information for delegations on the developments in New York and also as a space for exchange of opinions between states as the negotiations developed. These important working spaces were very important and flexible for us, and I hope they will continue to be so now that the organization is preparing to take on important and new responsibilities which will bring challenges 
which all countries must respond to in a joint and responsible manner. 2018 was a very important year for significant changes in the organizations because the second mandate of Ambassador Swing after 10 years heading up the IOM came to an end in accordance with current practice of international organizations and with the transparency which characterizes our organization, we carried, held the first interactive dialogue of member states with the candidates for the Director General of the IOM, and we looked at their priorities and opinions in a simple and direct manner, and I hope this in initiative will continue and we can continue to perfect it to make it a habitual practice in the future appointments of Director General. With a few weeks before the Marrakesh conference, the IOM is in good shape and well prepared to face the challenges it faces. I would like to thank the administration for the excellent work carried out, and I'd like to recognize in particular the leadership of uh, the former Director General William Lacey Swing and uh, the Ambassador Laura Thompson. I would like to wish every success in the carrying out of the functions in the recent months, and I'd like to welcome Director General Antonio Vitorino. And to conclude, I'd like to wish every success to my successors in this post. I am certain that their leadership will be prominent and essential for the work in the coming year. Thank you very much.